Okay, today is the first day when Gablin Night Market release both in Taiwan Maple Story and China Maple Story. So I will showcase the differences between their coin shops. The first one is for the ticket shop. It's completely the same as Korean one, excluding the traditional Chinese unit damage skin. And then the bag shop. In TMS, they added the core gemstones bag and selective arcane symbol bag without purchase limit. And the elsewhere is completely the same. The next one is about the rings. There are jewel craftsman ring, union ring, cosmo ring and vengeance ring. And the last one, the buckwheat jelly shop, exactly of no differences as well. Now let's see how China Maple Story modify the shops. Here's the ticket shop, still 5 items, but face chair ticket required much more coins, but the mount got a 50% discount. Next one, the bag shop is deadly modified that they only sell 3 kinds of stuff, epic potential scroll, additional scroll and the pure clean scroll. And then, the ring shop was not changed. Finally, the buckwheat shop. So, apparently there is something gone and they modified some required numbers of the jellies. In addition, they added something exclusively. This one is Soul Resolver, which helps you resolve your soul crystals, and after that you will gain up to 10 random one. And this one is Damage Cap Breakthrough Stone, which increases your weapon's damage cap. This is because China Maple Story didn't cancel this cap even after the fifth job advancement was released. This one is the Star, it is used for Star Force Enhancement. In CMS, they can't use Mesos to Star Force, mostly due to the abuse of Hux. And these two are flames respectively for level 130 and 140. The last one is a seal release scroll, for commerce equipments over. Here, you have to use this scroll to level up when reaching 100% XP, but not every shot is perfect. There is a success rate listed on the tooltip, the higher the level reaches, the lower it will be. So that's all for the comparison. Leave a thumb up if you like. Thanks for watching.